watching KTAL News Now. Here's Brittany DeFran with your midday news break. Happy Friday Eve. We are just three days away from Christmas and it's finally feeling like December with this weather. Let's jump into today's midday news break. And we're starting off with continuing coverage and a call to action. The Red Cross needs volunteers to continue helping with tornado relief efforts across Louisiana. The storms destroyed homes in Keithville last week and continue to devastate towns all the way down to New Orleans. The Red Cross says that they are helping dozens of families in the recovery from financial support to help with medical needs. They need volunteers for intake and case workers to help clients throughout this process. And if you want to help or make a donation, you can call 1-800-RED-CROSS. Now turning things to an ongoing preparation being done across the area ahead of the extreme freeze that is coming through the area. Now TxDOT is working to make sure that the roads are safe for drivers and TxDOT's Atlanta district is spreading salt um, and water brine all over bridges and overpasses, and this includes the Interstate 30 and 20 and U.S. Highway 59. TxDOT also plans to lay out bulk salt for traction on the same roads, so it looks like a lot of preparation is going in ahead of this uh, cold snap and major freezing temperature. Anytime there's a chance of extreme weather, in this case winter precipitation, we always like to err on the side of caution and treat those roads just in case to keep everybody safe and to make sure that everybody gets to their destination safely this holiday. Crews will be on standby Thursday night just in case there are any areas that need additional treatment. So a lot of preparation going in the works right now, and we know lots of you will be traveling to celebrate Christmas with your family. And if you do have to hit the road, there are some steps that AAA says you should take to prepare your car for these winter conditions before hitting the road. First, check your vehicle's antifreeze. Next, it's oil levels and wiper fluid. You wanna check that as well. And also make sure your tires and your spare tires are properly inflated and are good to go. Take a listen. One of the easiest tests is to take a quarter out and hold uh, where uh, George Washington is facing you, turn him upside down so that you put that uh, quarter in between the treads. And if you can see his head, uh, then your tires are uh, need to be replaced immediately. He suggests having your car's battery checked if there's if it's three years or older and Redmond says to have blankets and extra layers in the car in an event of your car breaking down. So always wanting to have a kit ready to go in your car as well. And according to our first alert KTAL weather authority team, in just a few short hours, the temperature will go from 40s, which is where things were this morning, to the teens and 20s. And right about now, since we've entered the afternoon period, there is still a very slight chance of snow, but it said it's most likely won't stick or uh, fall for very long. So with that being said, let's take a look at today's question of the day. All right, we're gonna give you a moment to take down this QR code you see right here on your screen. All right, today's question of the day is, will you be taking safety precautions ahead of the wintry weather conditions? Tell us what you think here, yes or no. It looks like so far, we have, all right, we have more saying yes. So 67% say yes and 33% say no. For more details on these stories, head to ktalnews.com, but don't go anywhere. More to come on your midday news break.
watching KTAL News Now. Here's Brittany DeFran with your midday news break. Welcome back to KTAL News Now. On this happy Friday Eve, Christmas is just around the corner, but your midday news break is right here and starting right now. Now, those who have to be out in the cold as these freezing temps make their way in, doctors in Texarkana are warning people about hypothermia. The symptoms include shivering, slurred speech, confusion, and even loss of consciousness. Now, a doctor at the Texarkana Emergency Center, it's best to layer up. Take a listen. For those that do have to be outside or have to go outside for an extended period of time, we want people to layer up to have several layers of clothes that if they do get out and get active and do start sweating underneath that, that they can take one of the top layers off and then as they start cooling back down, put the top layer back on. And we're gonna need gloves, we're gonna need face coverings. So people are really gearing up and getting ready for this winter storm. Now, during times like this, safety matters. And here in Northwest Louisiana, people are bracing for those brutal cold temperatures. NBC6's Shirley Busico shares why we all should check in on our most vulnerable populations during the cold snap. Some journeys can only be traveled alone, but that won't be the case for Carl Franks as he prepares for Friday's frigid forecast. The 64-year-old Highland resident says he is surrounded by concerned neighbors. I got one that's next door. He checks on me from time to time. Well, most of all of them. Monica Wright, the executive director of Cattle Council on Aging, urges elderly neighbors to develop some sort of a cold system. The windows maybe or the blinds uh, open or close to you know, give them a clue whether or not they're okay, the neighbors, because if they don't want to go out themselves, at least they'll know by whether the blinds are open or closed, whether the seniors are okay. Robert Jump with the Caddo Parish Sheriff's Office says start checking on the elderly now. Especially, you know, come Thursday, um, Thursday between lunch and dinner time, you know, is when we're going to drop below, hit that freezing mark. And then so that first night coming into Friday morning, it might be good to give them a call again and check on them in the morning and see how they're doing. Just wrapping my pipe. Well, I make checking out my windows, pipes, and cracks around the house. He thinks about those who lost their lives due to dangerous, brutal cold temperatures. You know, and uh, the cold weather caught them, and I don't know. Whew. Yeah, it's kind of bad this time of year. I just hope everyone just take care of themselves, man. Nothing much more to say about that. All right, and with these cold temperatures making their way in, we wanted to take a last look at our question of the day, which is, will you be taking safety precautions ahead of this wintry weather conditions? Looks like 67% say yes and 33% say no. What do you say? You can answer right here by just downloading that QR code you see right there on your screen. For more details on these stories, head to KTALnews.com and download the KTAL Your Weather Authority app to receive up-to-the-minute updates on this cold snap coming through. Have a great weekend, safe day, and stay warm.